getting kind of I'm feeling crazy fam I'm feeling crazy your girl Esther Joy is feeling crazy and that's nothing new um but I just thinking about the world it makes me feel crazy it makes me feel like oh my gosh so your girl is going to paint she's going to paint she's going to take some time to really just get in uh, alignment with herself she's going to be doing a couple paintings and um yeah just sharing what's on her mind so yeah she's done a lot of paintings before but she's feeling led to start another card collection this time around um the archetypes that are seen in the tarot um and maybe we'll do a story because it is very much a story um and yeah so we're gonna paint because the world is crazy and we're gonna summon some energies to assist the world in sorting itself out in a peaceful manner as peaceful as we can manage and that is what i pray for so yeah fam uh, get comfy get get your tea get your water get your drink and do have control of and what I am here for and sometimes taking a deep breath and knowing that all of this is happening for a reason even if I'm not sure why has given me hope and the reason seems to become clearer and clearer with each moment like a page as you read and understand why the characters had to go through what they went through. Sometimes drawing and painting help me understand that I don't have to keep the energy inside. And it's okay to take a moment to write how I'm feeling and to lose myself in the pages of expression, visually showing myself and reminding myself of the reality I'm living in and creating with each and every breath. At times I feel disorganized, but I'm sure even that is for a reason. Drawing has been something that I started doing uh, on habit of focusing on what could help me become more grounded and now I see it as a mechanism to ground me back into reality and remember why I have come and to remember that these feelings and emotions are here for a reason and to show them to myself so that I can be aware of that reason 
Not to mention it's great practice to just allow the pen to flow. I started painting energy portrait portals a while ago on impulse, asking a few of my close friends if I could paint their portraits for practice. And tapping into their energy, it also helped me understand the colors and the numbers and the symbology far beyond visually communicating what I felt. When I create a painting portal, I feel that person's energy in the way I feel their soul communicates to them and what that would look like if it was a visual snapshot of a moment. I'm never sure how they're going to come out, to be honest, but I know that it is all led and tuned into their energy so that, like watching a show, I just allow the process to unfold and reveal what is meant to be displayed. I see the collective and I think of collectively the painting that I would display at this time to show how I feel energetically we look like. But it's changing so quickly I would just keep on painting forever and ever. And maybe that's what we're doing. Maybe we're all just different hues of color that come together and allow a masterpiece of creation to be revealed. This is for my soul sister, Aria, and I'm very excited to share this with her as it's been on my heart. So I've pretty much been watching the paint dry. Um, this is for my soul sister Aria, so I'm really excited to give it to her once I'm done. There's still some details to do with the symbols and gold. Um, so I'm going to do that next, and then I'm planning on using some gouache and really getting deep in there. But yeah, it's been... I'm just painting. I'm just painting. Um, I do need to do an Instagram post, um, and I'm thinking about what I should do, uh, so I'll probably do it um, based on the children's book that I'm illustrating with my, my soul brother, Michael. Shout out Michael if you're watching this. Um, I say it can, you know what's up. And uh, yeah, so uh, I think I'm gonna do that, take a little break from the paint while it's drying, and then um, yeah, we'll, we'll get into it. It's a painting day. I like to stay organized, even though I feel like it's hopeless and I'll never really be organized like how I see on TV or videos, but I feel like I'm getting to a point where I am a lot more organized with how I create and my process, and so for that I am beyond thankful. Right now I'm just designing a Instagram post for the children's book, Scared to be a Butterfly, which you can find in the link in the bio if you want. Thank you, uh, But so yeah. I have finished this painting. I like how it looks, how it came out. I may do a little bit more, but yeah. I wanted to say this is Futura Esther, um, and she's editing, and she wanted to say thank you for watching. She did get to finish the painting, and I think it came out amazing, and I'm gonna send it to Aria, because, like, look at that. It's so cool, um, and I'm very excited. I will be very soon, um, yeah, selling paintings, um, well, of course, the whole process is, is pretty personal, so that will be up in my website uh, and more information about that, which I'm working on, and I'm excited to share a video about that soon as well. But I hope that you're doing well during these crazy times. 
um, you're doing things that keep you sane and happy, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.